this is a little video just to teach you about microscopes and uh, what they do and how they work. So in the last video we saw that what you're looking at there is a compound light microscope. This is an, a monocular microscope because it only has one uh, of these here. And what these things are here, uh, this at the top there is known as the ocular or eyepiece lens. This is the tube that it sits in, uh, so that is known as the body tube. This wheel that sits here, that's known as the nose piece. And it has two jobs. Uh, first job is to hold all of these different lenses on it. And the second job is to rotate to allow you to make use of these different lenses. And these all three lenses together, or any one of them, is known as an objective lens because it's closest to the objective. I should put in there lens. Uh, it's closest to the objective, to the thing that you're looking at. This here, this structure, that's simply known as the arm. Uh, and it connects the various bits to the rest of the microscope. This here is known as the stage. And it's where you're going to place the slide or the thing that you're looking at. Now to hold your slide in place, there are these two clips here. You can just make out the second one over there. Okay, and there's the first one. So these are your stage clips. So you've got your slide there, it's clipped in place, you're ready, basically ready to start viewing. Uh, how do you turn the thing on? Well there's always a power source or a switch which will turn the light on and the light is housed here in the base. It shines through this structure here which is known as the condenser. And you can just make out over there, that is the diaphragm, spell it correctly, um, also known as the iris, um, yeah. The diaphragm and the condenser together allow you to control the amount of light that is coming through. There's a little hole in the stage here. And they allow you to control how much light is going to come through there. The more light, uh, sometimes the more difficult it is to see. It depends on the thickness of the slide that you're working with. Then obviously we need to focus this and we have two focusing knobs. This one is the coarse focus knob. And this one is the fine focus knob. Now the coarse focus knob is the first one that you make use of. Once something is focused under the coarse focus knob, you can then focus it using the fine focus. Now before you go any further, I suggest that you pause the video and take note of these labels and try and learn them. Because the next slide I'm going to ask you to guess which ones are which. Okay, so you've learnt your labels. Now see if you can label the various parts of the microscope. And once you've done that, you can rewind in the video and check if you've got them correct.